Local for Sports with Sports Director Mason Kern. It's move-in day for Husker football. The freshmen migrate into the dorms and the team answers plenty of questions ahead of fall camp. That's because it's Husker football media day. Coaches and players each outlining their personal and team expectations as camp begins. It'll be Nebraska's second fall under head coach Matt Rule with the team coming off a five-win season. It's a whole new roster this year with new weapons in all three phases and confidence is high around the program for what can be accomplished this year. But it's going to take clean football. That's a major issue from the debut season under rule where the program had a minus 17 turnover margin. It's a priority this camp and will define the team going forward. To be quite honest, like it's time to win. Like there's no sympathy. There won't be sympathy. The best players are going to get on the field and play. Taking care of the football. Like if we have to just take a knee three times and punt the ball, but we don't turn it over, we'll do that. Right. We're not going to turn the ball over anymore. And they know if you turn the ball over, you're not going to play. That ball is everything for this program. Like we're trying to win football games, so we got to take that extremely important. You know, it shouldn't have to come from the coaches. You know, they're going to say it, but I think it should come from players. Make sure that we take it seriously and it's part of our job. Um, and, you know, ball security is everything. Five points of security. And part of that responsibility comes from the offensive line, which gets national attention today as incoming senior Bryce Benhart is named the Outland Trophy watch list. It's an award given to the top interior offensive lineman in college football, and Benhart makes the list despite starting all 12 games at right tackle for the Huskers last season, earning all Big Ten honorable mention in the process.